Just give me a quick take on where things stand. You know, we sort of hear from you somewhat regularly. Are they getting worse? Yeah, thanks, David. And sorry for the uh, audio difficulties. But, um, you know, we saw uh, the softness kind of begin at the end of June, early July. Um, through the end of August, uh, we've seen a modest increase in demand. Um, and there's plenty of underlying demand uh, on a needs base uh, buyer. But, you know, I, you know, the consumer sentiment is still very cautious, as you mentioned. And I think Steve mentioned, you know, the, the interest rate and the uncertainty in the rising rate environment has definitely created, a, you know, the consumer to be a little more cautious. So, I mean, in, you know, I, I think we've talked about this before, David. You know, while housing corrections in the short term are driven by, you know, an increase in rates or maybe even a decrease in rates. Longer term, you really look at the strong supply, demand and supply constraints in this industry. And frankly, over the last 13 years, when you look at housing starts versus household formation, we haven't kept up with housing starts to meet household formation. So, there's definitely a correction going on right now, but uh, uh, and, 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 but we're still seeing some some underlying demand. Right. I mean, the long-term trends are all potentially positive, as you point out. But that said, you know, this is obviously an important barometer for the broader economy. I mean, what's it going to take to sort of get things back on track, Doug? Well, I think uh, it's going to take uh, the uh, the consumer. Uh, feeling that uh, the rising rate environment has has slowed down or, or cooled off so that they can uh, get further engaged uh, as, as we look forward into 23. You know, frankly, I, I really do believe, if you, you know, you talk about the undersupply nature of housing, there's probably going to be a pretty good snapback, David, when you look at the housing sector going forward. It's just a matter of time. I mean, buying the, the largest consumer good you're ever going to buy in your life, you know, takes a lot of confidence, and, and that confidence is, is a little shaky right now. Yeah. Uh, Doug, we're going to keep it short, but always appreciate the update, and I'm sure we'll have you back soon. Thank you. Thanks, David.